I'm Eric Procius, owner of Cirrus Weather Solutions and meteorologist for Stormwatch Plus. Stormwatch Plus provides personalized weather alerts for severe and winter weather based on the specific locations and alert types you select. I'm going to walk through how to configure Stormwatch Plus to receive these notifications. These instructions assume that you have already purchased the alerting capabilities in your app. In order to receive alerts, you must first configure the locations you want to be alerted for. Stormwatch Plus allows you to receive alerts for up to three static locations and one dynamic location using Stormwatch Plus en route. We'll start with setting a static or preset location. You can set a location using a city-state combination, zip code, physical address, or by allowing the device to determine your exact location using GPS. Setting up a location using a physical address or GPS is recommended over the less accurate city state or zip code methods, but these options are available. On the settings screen, tap Add Location. You will then be asked to name that location. You may call it whatever you like. A short name like Home or Work is best. Enter the name of the location, then tap Choose Location. On the next screen, either manually enter an address or tap Use Current Location if you are going to use your device's GPS to set that location. We'll use GPS in this example, so we tap Use Current Location. After a moment, the location will be plotted on a map. If you are satisfied with the determined location, tap Use This Location. You have the option to change the location name or select a new location, but if you are satisfied, tap Use This Location. The location you selected will sync with our secure Stormwatch Plus server, and you will be returned to the main settings screen. Notice now that the location is listed, it is turned on, and the main status button is now on. You may enter up to two additional locations in the same manner. Stormwatch Plus works nationwide, so feel free to enter any location in the U.S. you wish to be alerted for. Once you have a location set, you can disable alerts for the location, but keep the location stored by turning the location off. You can also turn off all alerts from Stormwatch Plus without deleting any locations by using the status button at the top of the page. To delete a location, long press the location name and tap the delete button that appears. On an iOS device, you would simply swipe to the right over location and tap delete. You can also use your GPS to follow you and alert you if you drive into a severe weather warning. This is particularly useful for business travelers or those who are going on vacation and do not want to constantly change their locations. We call it Stormwatch Plus en route, and activating it is easy. Simply turn on Stormwatch Plus en route on your settings screen. There is also an option, once en route is enabled, to select better battery life or more precise tracking. With better battery selected, your current position will be tracked to within about a mile and a half, which is typically sufficient. However, to get more precise tracking, down to as low as 30 foot accuracy, select more precise. Note that this mode will require more battery power and having the device plugged into a power source is recommended. Also note that only tornado, severe thunderstorm, and flash flood warnings are currently provided with the en route service. For more information on en route, tap learn more when enabling en route. There are several other customizations you may wish to make to Stormwatch Plus. You can enter a quiet time if you do not wish to receive any alerts during a certain period of time. Simply tap set quiet time on the settings screen, then enter the start time or the beginning of the time period you wish the app to remain silent, then press set end and enter the time you wish to start receiving alerts again, then tap done. The settings screen will display the quiet time. To clear or change the quiet time, tap the quiet time button once again and make your changes. The best feature of Stormwatch Plus in our opinion is the ability to choose what types of weather alerts you want to receive. Tap customize my alerts then select or deselect the alerts you wish to receive. By default, all alert types are on. The alert types that are deselected apply to all locations you have set. When alerts are pushed to your device, you will hear the default notification sound that is set on your device, with two exceptions. For severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings, a special alert will sound, which is the buzzing that accompanies emergency alert system notices such as you might hear on commercial radio stations when a weather warning is issued, as well as a voice description of the type of alert you have received. We want to be sure to wake you if these alerts are issued while you are sleeping as they are the most threatening 
to life and property. Disabling these is not recommended. In fact, a confirmation box must be acknowledged if you disable tornado warnings. After selecting the alert types you wish to receive, press the back button to return to the main settings screen. It is also worth noting that on Android devices, if your device is silenced when a push notification is received, you will still receive the notification, but you will not receive an audio alert, with the exception of tornado and severe thunderstorm warnings, which will override your device's silent or vibrate preferences and still sound. On iOS devices, no audio will be delivered if your device is silenced on vibrate or do not disturb. However, the notification will still be pushed. These system level restrictions cannot be overridden. We hope you find these customizations useful and in addition to the speed of the service are what set Stormwatch Plus apart from other apps in the same category. Finally, a word about how warnings are issued. Tornado, severe thunderstorm, and flash flood warnings are issued by the National Weather Service along a storm's path irrespective of county boundaries. Some portions of a county may be in the warning polygon or area while others are not. If you do not receive one of these alerts on your device, but portions of your county are under a warning or the sirens are sounding, it is because your specific location is not in harm's way and you are not within the boundaries of the warned area. Stormwatch Plus uses precision GPS technology to pinpoint warnings only to those affected, allowing you to continue on about your business if you are not in the path of the storm, but warning you immediately if you are. We have seen instances where an alert was not issued because the edge of the polygon was as little as one block away. As one of our Stormwatch Plus users put it, Tornado sirens were going off everywhere, but since the warnings didn't affect the locations I had set up, I wasn't alerted, so I knew I didn't have to worry. That's about it. We appreciate your purchasing Stormwatch Plus and hope that our personalized weather alerts in the palm of your hand will provide some peace of mind and the earliest possible warning when severe weather threatens.